Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We're continuing our run through of Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. And here we are back in Grenoble. Uh, we're going to hit the old cave again. Uh, on the last episode, we traveled through the green tower and picked up the red. I think we almost picked up the red jade, but it was broken. And we went and grabbed the, uh, uh, the Hope Ruby again afterwards uh, by going to the Medan Mines. So the only thing we need now is the blue gem, or the blue jade. So you'll see that I have the red sapphire and the green jade. And then we can start uh, sticking those into the towers, uh, but I'm going to take a little side quest here. We're going to go into the old cave again, hopefully pick up some uh, useful items and other things, and hopefully not get beat up instantly by whatever monsters are down there. Because we are technically at a lower level. Uh, my main character is level 21, but everybody else is like 19, 20, so I might have to uh, hopefully not uh, take more than one trip because I get utterly beat up, but we'll see. So right down to the fifth level. Now, uh, I probably said before, um, the old cave in this game uh, is not as cool as the ancient cave in the second one. The ancient cave in the second one is 100 floors, randomized, you get dropped to level 1, and it's like, a, it's, like its own mode in itself. Uh, when I start playing that one, that one's going to be uh, essentially its own series. Oh, luck found the luck blade. Clip that in a second after I empty these out. Next potion. And empty. Really? But I can't equip it. He can, though. Should I... I better not then. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check in the, I'm gonna leave in my inventory and I'm gonna look at something later. And if it's not cursed, that we'll see. I didn't know you could do that. If you try to equip it on somebody who can't equip it, it'll tell you it's cursed but not equip it. That may be a exploit that I can apply. experience from these guys, though. Unless it's just a glitch where if I try to equip something that I can't... No. It just doesn't equip. Alright, so I did find out that the luck blade is cursed without suffering the penalty. So good. I'll have to remember that. So let's levitate. Found the next potion else. Kite shield. Find somebody who can't use it. Okay, so it's not cursed. That's kind of cool. I'd, I'd never do that. Learn something new. I'm getting trashed here. Enemy attack power is much higher than I expected. survive if I act smart, but, eh, Lord knows how many times that happens. There we go. And they carry swing wings, that's cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything in this uh, particular poison field here. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it. Uh-oh, mace men. Probably use frost. Dropped him. I think I'll be okay if I just keep healing. 
famous last words. Wow. Seems like they're getting two hits to my one again. are pretty tough in terms of attack power. Alright, there was nothing there. More rocks. And I do need to keep an eye on Jaren's magic points because I don't want her to run out and then I won't be able to use escape. So That is if I can use escape down here. I'm not sure if I can. This feels like a cave that would prevent me from doing so just for some reason. But I could be just being paranoid. Alright, what's in here? High bomb, high potion. Empty. More rocks. heal themselves. I need a better fire spell. The last fire spell, Vulcan, was actually really cool. But before you get that, it's kind of bleh. Doors here. Spell potion. Let me float just to look around. Yep, nothing there. And revive. Let's use that spell potion. I'm kinda disappointed about that luck blade. It is my namesake. We're getting rid of that bee instantly. Nope, oh, only took one hit. Darn. And they're gonna jack up their speed again. Float. Alright, so that leads us back to where we were. So that covers this door. There's one more door to the right. Uh, if I go back to the door I previously was in, I need to take account of, and I need to go down here. Um, I'm really thinking there's something in here. So I'm going to coast the area here. I'd be surprised if there wasn't, mainly because how big the poison field is. And this game loves to hide their stuff in their poison fields. But I am getting good experience, so I'm not complaining it in the least here. Yep, there you go, revive. Okay. And I'm ambushed. Crap. I'll have the two big guys deal with the mace man. He didn't get to hit, so that's good. I don't know if they're really strong, I just... <laughs> I'm not taking the chance. When a guy comes at you with a giant mace, you, uh... You deal with him. Power potion. Alright, should be good. Another 
battle axe. I guess I shouldn't say another. Let's see if this one's cursed. Yeah, now I'm gonna do that with every everything I find down here, because if I can exploit it, absolutely. Um, the reason why when I get out of a menu I seem to immediately go back to it like that is because when I rapid fire B, the, the menu is set to the B button. So you're hitting B to cancel and then you immediately go back into it because you rapid fired it too fast. So that's why. I'm sorry if that's annoying you. Alright, that's what we were looking for. And we got a frost ring which will strengthen my frost spells if I equip them. Alright, so that was the door that we didn't account for, so we can leave. After we deal with these guys, apparently. Yeah, see, they hit hard. turn in our, uh, our item there, and uh, <clears throat> I will say in between episodes I am going to do a bit of level, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm going to do a bit of leveling, because the red ghost is actually pretty strong and I want to uh, be able to face it, um, yeah, I already did that, oh, I have to turn it in, <laughs> thank you. Alright, so I'll be back at level 25. And I can sell that uh, unfortunate luck blade. I'll sell the longsword, and the buckler, the opal, and the luck blade, and the gum. Too bad about that luck blade. I have plenty of swing wings, so let's save my magic points here. Actually, I haven't gone to the end. Warp. Back to the Red Tower, which is our next stop. I'll tell you what, I got a minute. I'm gonna start exploring. And explore this tower on the next episode, and we'll uh, grab all the stuff out of it, and then in the episode after that we'll probably go after the Red Ghost, mainly because he's going to be tough to fight. Or maybe I could just give him a shot. I should probably save first though, huh? Oh well. So, let's 
deal with the monsters here, and I'm gonna go up these stairs, and I'll show you one thing that's up there, and that should do it for this episode. I think on the next episode I will, uh, in between episodes rather, I think I will gain a few levels to seal the pot, so to speak. I am pretty close to one. There's a thing. Blue is blue, green is green, red is last. <laughs> if blue were red, we'd be in big trouble. That yeah, means nothing. Alright, so, on the next episode, uh, we will continue through the red tower and try to face the red ghost. Uh, I'm gonna go back and save and I'll start us again in this position here. So, I hope to see you on the next episode. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching, and have a good one.